We come together today to launch our 143rd academic year and acknowledge progress on many fronts since we last gathered for this convocation. Benjamin Franklin once said, without continual growth and progress, such words as improvement, achievement, and success have no meaning. Indeed, our campus has seen many changes and we celebrate that progress and growth. TCU gives, meaning, gives new meaning to the words improvement, achievement, and success every day through your hard work and labor. However, as we welcome the class of 2019, gosh, hard to believe, 2019, into the Horned Frog family, I want to celebrate one thing that has not changed, our enduring relationships with one another and also with this great institution. Convocation provides the opportunity to consider both our collective achievements and our aspirations for Texas Christian University. I believe common motifs run through all of our accomplishments and goals, in fact, through everything we do at TCU. Community, collaboration, and connection are the three common themes that I always see. These three C's embody TCU's identity. They define our relationships with our students, with one another, and with the larger world. Consequently, they provide an appropriate theme for the coming year and a lens through which to observe and evaluate what we do here. And they correspond with components found in our strategic plan as set forth by the Board of Trustees Vision in Action, the Academy of Tomorrow. Let's start by speaking first about community, the sense of unity, identity, cooperation, and spirit that so many feel here. We welcome many new members to the TCU family for the fall semester, including our new freshman class. We're very proud of this accomplished group chosen from more than 18,500 applications. The class of 2019 is in fact larger than we had anticipated. At 2072, it is the largest class in the history of the university. Remember our goal is 1850. Even this year, we offered less offers of admission than ever before, and we still had a higher yield, which is a wonderful thing to happen. The per percentage of students who accepted admission at TCU was greater this year than at any time in the last three decades. Applications are predicted to increase again, increase again for next year, but we are still focused on our longtime goal of admitting a freshman class of around 1850. The class of 2019 continues a trend of excellence and achievement with the highest academic credentials in the history of TCU. These new frogs bring record high SAT and ACT scores, and TCU's admission rate again remains in the highly selective category. Without a doubt, the sense of community that defines TCU is very attractive to these prospective students and their families. There is great value in what we are offering here. Introducing incoming students to TCU's mission, values, and culture is essential in building and sustaining this community. Our second theme today is collaboration. The teamwork, partnerships, alliances, and relationships that will be vital as we further realize our vision to be a world-class, value-centered university. Collaboration does not just happen. It takes more time to exchange ideas and reach consensus. But we see time and time again that this investment yields successful outcomes for the greater welfare of all of us. One bold initiative is sure to positively impact the university and our community. As noted in the video, the University of North Texas Health Science Center and TCU are joining forces to create a new MD granting school in Fort Worth. The school, planned to accept this first class in 2018, will prepare future doctors to utilize a team-oriented approach that centers on the patients and will shape the future practice for the best practice in medicine. The UNT Health Science Center already is home to an osteopathic medical school and several graduate healthcare programs, all providing excellent service to our community. Blending a medical education and TCU's liberal arts focus will help shape tomorrow's physicians as ethical leaders. A memorandum of understanding between the, between the two institutions calls for an initial class of 60. One third of the places in each class will be dedicated to TCU students. The MD school is expected to increase educational and research opportunities at both institutions while using existing facilities and faculty from both institutions. TCU is also involved in a collaboration to transform geriatric care in North Texas. The university will partner again with the UNT Health Science Center, 
JPS Network, and the United Way's Area Agency on Aging to establish the Workforce Enhancement Healthy Aging and Independent Living, or WEHAIL for short. The collaboration was selected for funding from the Department of Health and Human Services to improve, he to improve health care for older adults in our community. In a third collaboration, TCU and Tarrant County College have signed an agreement that will facilitate the transfer of TCC graduates to the university. TCC graduates account for about 25% of all our transfer students already. To complete the three C's, our next theme that I have is connection. Our mission encourages students to, forgo, to forge rather, connections that will have a positive influence and far and wide. Yes, we encourage them to forego any connection while they're on campus. <laughs> walk as total islands around here the entire time. Just like everybody else. That's so not TCU. TCU educates students to think broadly and be global leaders and to be responsible citizens in every sense of the word. Our students and our faculty and our staff live this theme every day. The university won the prestigious 2015 Institute of International Education's High School Award for the most innovative and successful model in the field of internationalization. Two horde frogs were named Albert Schweitzer Fellows in 2015. Five became Ful Fulbright Scholars for a total of 16 Fulbright Scholars just over the past three years. Closer to home, TCU made progress through key connections in the state and local community. Celebrating its 10th anniversary this year, the Institute of Child Development in the College of Science and Engineering has garnered recognition for innovative methods of care and treatment of harmed children across the globe. The therapeutic model that the Institute developed is being adopted to revamp the Texas child foster care system. The results of our unswerving com commitment to community, collaboration, and connection are many, and others have taken notice of our progress. TCU's academic expertise is being recognized on a global level. For example, The Economist ranks Neely's executive MBA faculty second in the world and our EMBA 12th in the world. Six new endowed faculty positions for distinguished professors have been added in the last three years. And Dr. Molly Weinberg has been named a Piper Professor in Texas, one of the 10 best professors in the state. Support from alumni and friends gives proof that they believe in our vision. Since the campaign for TCU ended in 2012, with, with more than $435 million raised, donors have continued the momentum with new commitments of some $244 million. After today's recessional, we will gather for our Founders Celebration outside of Landreth Hall in full view of the amazing new and improved Mary Couts Burnett Library, which will reopen shortly and will be the kind of the crowning piece of the intellectual commons. Across the intellectual commons is the expanded and renovated Annie Richardson Bass Building for the Harris College of Nursing and Health Sciences, which opened last academic year. An ambitious new complex for the Neely School is now on the architect's drawing boards. On the West Campus, the Ed and Ray Schollmeyer Arena in the Daniel Meyer Complex is on schedule for completion in time for the basketball season. And, I know you're all waiting for this, two new parking garages are opening. <laughs> One opened already, and it's the Frog Alley parking garage, and the other one will be in the Worth Hills development, and that's being built as we speak. Both have 30,000 spaces in them. <laughs> Friends and colleagues are committed to creating an optimal campus for the TCU community. Our focus remains on the Academy of Tomorrow, which is about the people and programs and the facilities in which we live. In closing, I'd like to return to the three C's, community, collaboration, and connection. As we leave this convocation and begin the new academic year, reflect on these three C's to help guide and evaluate our daily work, for they define us as an institution, and they also speak to our progress and our growth in the future.